Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very strange little filming place today. So, as you hopefully will know, tomorrow's video is going to be in my brand new filming space that is all ready to go and I filmed for you an introduction to that new space and a tour of all my beauty room, um, which is very exciting. That's going up tomorrow and yesterday's video, which was my makeup I cannot stop using, was in my last space, my last video in my old filming space. So when the new MAC collection popped through my door this morning and I just wanted to get it up for you guys because I know it's limited edition and I know it's launched here before it is launching in the US and the rest of the world. Apparently, I think it said starting in June apparently for the rest of the world. So you guys have got a little while. Um, but in the UK this is out now and available now everywhere pretty much that sells MAC. I actually got mine from ASOS um, because I have free next day delivery with them so it has popped through my door already and I wanted to try it all out with you and just get the video up so excuse this is not my new filming space don't panic this is just the space for today so we're just in my guest bedroom but what is good is we have a big window here as you can see it's not exactly the most exciting space I can't always be in here but it is quite nice to actually have natural lighting especially when we're going to especially when we're going to be swatching some new products um so it's really a bonus to have natural daylight today no lighting we're just using natural daylight today at the moment I look a bit like an egg because I've got foundation and concealer and nothing else and that is because as I said just through my door is all my new purchases from the Electric Wonder collection from MAC. So in this ridiculously gloriously packaged MAC collection there is a face palette, there are two bronzers, there are two eyeshadow palettes, one cooler, one uh, warmer. There are two iridescent face powders with no overspray. There are five lipsticks and there are five lip glosses. I think that's it. So a really large collection from like, oh, there's also some brushes, I think a face brush and an eyeshadow brush. Um, but yeah, a really considerable collection from MAC. So I'm gonna be trying everything today. What I picked up was the face palette, one of the bronzers, actually the lighter shade, which is an unusual choice for me, and one of the iridescent powders. So I thought we would try all of this out, have a look at it together and see what is worth picking up. So obviously I did not pick up any of the eye or lip products and that just being, I mean, the, the packaging looks amazing. And if you don't have an eyeshadow palette similar to either of those, I think MAC is really nailing that eyeshadow formula at the moment. But for me, I, I like there was no justifying those eyeshadow palettes because I just have very similar one, shades already in what I've got. Um, it doesn't mean I wasn't tempted by that packaging because it is life. And honestly, the packaging is so nice in this collection that even if it's just going to sit on your vanity, I can't be mad at it. So yeah, that's why no eye products and the same with the lips to be honest, there, there was no shades in there. I, I was quite interested in the sepia shade, um, which is kind of a re-release of, of something they discontinued a while ago, but I'm just really trying to cut down on lipstick purchasing at the moment, unless it's really something I don't have. Um, and there certainly wasn't anything I didn't really have. This is the weirdest space because I'm just like perched on a bedside table with all my stuff just off to the side, so. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen here. So first of all, let's start with the bronzer. So this is a next to nothing bronzing powder. So they have a uh, next to nothing powder and liquid, like a very sheer coverage foundation. At the moment, that I actually believe has been discontinued now. So this is that same next to nothing formula. It's supposed to be very like creamy powder, basically. So this is the lighter shade that I picked up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but straight away, I mean... I'm dead. Straight away when I opened this, it reminded me of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, with like the original shade, which is one that I do really like, but I don't find it that long lasting on me. So it's pretty similar, as you can see, it may be a hair lighter. Usually I would have gone for the deeper bronzer, but I liked the look of this one. Um, and at the moment I'm kind of enjoying going for a lighter shade bronzer and just really building it up, because obviously that's easier than, than trying to take anything away. So I'm just going to be using my filthy 
MAC 135. There's quite a lot of kick up there, which just kind of means that it's a sort of looser powder. Okay, so there's plenty of pigment actually, like I was thinking I was going to be here all day building this up. Very nice to blend, very easy to blend out. It is quite warm of a bronzer, which I'm not mad at because I tend to purchase lots of neutral toned bronzers or even cooler toned bronzers so it's nice that this is actually something a little bit different for me something to add to the collection you know a different option but yeah definitely on the warmer side for like what I normally have I'm slightly moved because I feel like the light was on like one side of my face which I think is just something we're gonna have to deal with a bit today but that's hopefully a little bit better so everything has mirrors in by the way but yeah definitely a, a like a nice warmer bronzer yeah I mean it's not don't get me wrong it's not orangey but it isn't my it isn't as sort of cool or as neutral as the bronzers that I usually wear it is quite comparative I guess in shade maybe to like the Gimme Sun, but it's a really nice formula. Like it's bl blending very nicely, feels very silky, which is kind of what I remember from their next to nothing powder. I actually have that setting powder, um, and it is very silky and smoothing on the skin, which this is really nice. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, the original shade, like the middle one, and this is Canyon Dreaming, the lighter bronze shade from this collection. So you can see they're pretty similar as shade-wise as in like depth of bronzer, but the MAC is definitely more luminous and slightly warmer than the Too Faced Chocolate. It's almost more of a sort of tone of the Chocolate Gold bronzer, but it's not as glowy as that one and a little lighter. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. It blended out really, really nicely. Really easy to build up. Obviously, as I get a little bit darker as we go into summer, I think I can still use this. I think it will be easy to sort of build up a little bit on my deeper skin. Really happy with that. It's really nice to actually have a bit of a different tone to a bronzer than what I've already got. Always nice to have something different than what you've got already in your collection. I really like the finish. It's very smooth. It is warmer, but it's not really orangey. It looks so nice on the skin, very smooth, really liking that. It was really easy to work with as well. A lot of powder kind of kicked up in the, I mean not a lot, a bit of powder kicked up in the, the pan as I was putting it on. Um, so it is a sort of moderately soft powder as far as how, how it's pressed in the pan, but that's just kind of nice to see how it blended actually. So next the product I was the most excited by in the collection and this is the face palette come on this is look at that it's flipping glory <laughs> it's glorious so here is the face palette so these are all listed as being highlights but obviously for me maybe these three are highlights and these three are going to be like a luminous blush on me but obviously if you are working on clients or just on other people and um, then you've kind of got something in here for like lots of different skin tones and um, so it just depends on how you're going to use it really you could also use them on the eye um, as well it does have a little card in here with all of the shade names but honestly I don't really care what they're called I'm just that's just how I feel. So I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go in with the lightest shade in the palette, which is this one over here. Now it'd be good to know the names, wouldn't it? But yeah, this one up here, the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm just going to use that as a regular highlight. So there's again a little bit of kickback there. Remember, just remember that we are in natural daylight, so you're not going to, this isn't going to show up as crazy as it would if I had like a ring light on. Um, so don't be fooled, this is looking pretty blinding in my mirror, but it won't look as intense on camera as it usually would with like lighting, because obviously that bounces off and helps us pop. Which is again why it's so nice to have the luxury of just 
natural daylight. So I'm actually going to use the next shade along this kind of goldy shade now just to do like down the bridge of my nose. Try a different shade, you know. That's lovely. I'm just going to put a little bit of that gold shade on my inner corners. Woo! Okay. That is nice. That kind of goldy shade, it reminds me of like Whisper of Guilt. They're really nice formulas, these uh, highlights. Very soft, very glowy. They're not overly glittery, like they are just really nice glowy formula. So this is the whole face palette swatch. As you can see, these will be highlighters on me and then these blushes. The peachy shade, which is the middle of the bottom row, this one was less pigmented, I would say, than the others, but obviously that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're using it as a blush or you're on fairer skin. Um, but yeah, you can see they are all very glowy, but certainly these three could be used as blushes um, and these as highlights on me. This is actually the pink from the bottom row and it's actually much lighter than it kind of looks in the pan. So again, definitely wearable for like my skin tone uh, as a highlight. So I'm actually going to have a try of that middle bottom peachy shade just to see actually how it performs on the cheeks because sometimes these products surprise us. Yeah, so actually that's showing up really nicely. A nice sort of softer blush on me without being too much. So I'm like an NC30, any darker skin than me and that will be again a very subtle highlight because this one isn't as glowy as the other shades um, or you could use it on the eyes. I mean I built that blush up quite a bit but it's definitely there as a soft peachy glowy shade. I would definitely wear that in the winter as a blush. I think it is going to be the sort of least like pigmented in the palette though. So bear that in mind, if you have like kind of darker skin than me and you were kind of hoping that that peachy shape is going to be a blush on you, it won't really show on skin sort of any darker than mine. But obviously you still have the sort of bronzy shade. Um, I mean, it's building up definitely to have some colour there. So last but not least, this is the iridescent powder in the shade Serenity Seeker. So here it is heavily swatched on the back of my hand and you can see it's just slightly darker than my skin tone. I would probably use this like buffed on the high points of my skin as like a very subtle um, highlight or I might even use it all over my face to give me some luminous because it's some luminous. Okay but it's really, there's not a lot of glitter in there. It, it just looks wet and glowy. So I would certainly use this as like a finishing powder. If you have lighter skin than me, this could be like a sort of almost like a bronzy, blushy, highlight type of powder. There is no overspray on here. Apparently this is, this is the powder. And I have like heavily swirled my brush in here to see, um, and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So I'm just gonna kind of dust this. Can you see on my forehead, it's just made it like really glowy, but not necessarily like too much, you know? I mean, what really is too much, honestly? Nothing in this house. So I'm just gonna kind of buff this everywhere on the rest of my skin that doesn't have like other products like blush and bronzer and the highlights so that you can just kind of see what this looks like. At this point I've heavily got my brush in there and you can see it's still got that gorgeous pattern. It just looks really nice and luminous. I would definitely buff this all over my face and um, like I said you know I had to build it up a lot to actually show the colour on my skin tone and so certainly I mean now it's fine certainly once I've caught a bit of sun it will be you know very much like a finishing powder on me or just a very soft highlight and um, 
If you're fairer than me, then it's going to give you a bit of a blush or bronzer effect to it as well. Really pretty. I think that's such a lovely product. And again, I just don't have anything like this. So here is the finished look using all of those face products. I really love all of them. I'm actually shocked i really actually i feel like for me i feel like if you pick up one thing and you're just like trying to be you know careful you're on a low spend or something like that then really the highlight for me is the highlight the iridescent powder i think there is another shade of this if you have deeper skin that's a kind of very sort of rosy bron bronzy shade so that might work better for you if you have deeper skin but this will work on you if you're like up to an NC40. Um, as you can see, it's, it is darker than my skin tone slightly, but it is ve almost like very sheer. So I think it will work on lots of skin tones, just not if you're very fair, it will leave color on your skin. Um, but I think it's really pretty and it is probably the thing that is the least like anything else I have in my collection. So if you're only really interested in buying something that you don't already have, you know, we obviously have, we'll have lots of blushes, we will have lots of bronzers, eyeshadows, lipsticks, etc. If you're on a real minimum spend, then the highlight for me is the iridescent powder. I think it's just really given a lovely glow to my skin without looking glittery and um, without leaving a cast, which is really pretty. If you're on the lookout for a bronzer, this is a really nice formula. If you like a nice, warm, luminous, glowy bronzer, then this is a really nice one. I really like the formula, so and you can't beat this packaging, can you? I hope you found this video helpful if you are thinking of picking up some of the face products from this collection, and I really look forward to introducing you to my new filming space tomorrow. I'll see you there, bye 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 bye.